Hi guys, it's Alyssa and we're gonna have a really fun chat today. From the title of my video, you probably think this is gonna be depressing, but it's not. It's gonna be really, really, really fun and really exciting. Mercury retrograde, all the fucking retrogrades, Venus going direct and Saturn going back into Capricorn today and I'm like, ah, like glowing. Like I'm so happy today. I mean, I've been happy the past couple days. So my channel's dead. It just is. Like, I think you can tell. I think you can see that I'm just really not into it. I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's just fucking boring for me right now. For serious, like, <laughs> it's just kind of, it's just not, it's not doing it for me, right? But when I quit YouTube in 2017, which I love to talk about all the time because it was such a fucking big moment for me. So I've been doing this for five years five years in May actually. So it's a little bit before the five year mark and it's Mercury retrograde right now. So it's about reevaluating things, but it is not um, the beginning of my reevaluation of my channel. Um, I started thinking about this back in January. So I want you to know that I've had a lot of thought um, to this. And actually, in fact, I thought about it two years ago and really wrestled with it and so it's been something that I've been working through trying to figure out what I want to do. So I am going to not be doing YouTube videos after Saturn goes direct. I've been on YouTube for five years doing astrology, just trying to vlog, trying to really like find a place for my channel and my channel was sort of swept up into a community. Now it's called the spiritual community, they can also call it the astrology community, but like astrology community as it is is smaller, like you know there's just just small. There's not a lot of people who actually know astrology or at least know it well. T. It's kind of got an umbrella of like a spiritual community. And this can is like kind of like those lifestyle spiritual people, tarot readers, astrologers. You go to them to like heal yourself. And so there's a level of lightness that has to be involved. Now, I obviously never portrayed myself as light ever. But because my channel was sort of swept up into the umbrella of spirituality, um, I got shit on for it, which is traumatic and gave me PTSD. So that's why I talk about it. I'm sorry. I just talk about it all the time because I have like trauma from it because it was so stupid. These stupid fucking dudes calling me out for my tits <laughs> and these stupid fucking girls calling me out for bullshit claims about things that I never ever fucking did to them and these stupid copycats that I love to talk about because they just mined my channel for gold and then did some form of my video and then pretended like they were fucking creators. That shit. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I really like, I don't anymore. I. I made a post on Instagram, like I showed this video, um, I call it leave the influence and hashtag love yourself because that was like at three months or four months after I left YouTube for what I was hoping was good, but I knew it wasn't. Mercury was retrograde, Jupiter was retrograde, Saturn was retrograde when I quit YouTube. Like it just was. I knew it. Like I'm not an idiot. I was like, okay, that's the end of my channel. Like I don't know what to say about it. I just know it's the end. That's all I could really say. But when I came back, it was like, because I said, leave the influence. And in that video, I talked about the spiritual community being just really shitty and that everything I was being told was backwards. Like I made a video about reading negative comments and I got bullied into deleting that video because it was so low vibe of me to read the comments, the negative comments about myself and then react negatively or combatively towards those stupid fucking trolls, right? It felt like I was bullied on the internet for just being myself. So I was reading those comments to try to be like cathartic for me. And then I was bullied by love and lighter spiritual rejects who think they're above it all. And that was a really big moment for me in just realizing I hated it. I hated it. So, and I wrote about how love and light is a lie and the spiritual community is just a lie and all that. And I was like, I'm kind of done um, even talking about it. I don't understand why I'm still included in it. And I've tried to like figure out how to pull myself out, but I end up getting yanked back in. And it's because it's because it's a community and they just eat you up. Like they just, I never wanted to be a part of it. And then I came back to YouTube 2019 last year and was like, okay, I'm gonna be a part of it. All right, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna try. And uh, 
oh man, I don't know. That wasn't, it wasn't any better. Like I didn't like it. I didn't, I was like, what the fuck? I hated it. Like, I don't want to be a part of it. I don't like it. I want to do things that I want to do. And I don't want to be in chains, right? And I just felt like I was in chains again. Granted this time, I think what kind of hit me was that I did some, went on some negative rant because I do that sometimes. And I got more messages than usual about how I need to be positive and then how I freak people out when I get negative. And I was like, huh, interesting. That's weird. Like this is kind of making me think of something. And I said, like, why are all these people finding me? They're following me and finding me because I'm in a community that promotes positivity. And that's just not my jam. What do I do? Like, how do I go? I am looking back at like rejoining this sphere last year when Saturn was in Capricorn before it went into Aquarius and thinking about, I was a little bit blind. I went into it because I wanted to just have a, a life. I wanted a job again because I don't want to do other jobs. Like I like what I do. I love to talk. I love to make videos. I love astrology. I love other stuff too. And you know, when I used to have my channel, I used to vlog more because I, people really cared to know about me. I, I remember that was fun. Like people liking to know about me. Right. And I, and telling people, I even posted videos about when my kids were born. Those are still existing. I didn't delete that one. Like I did my negative comment video, but they still exist, but they have weird comments on them from people kind of being like, you're a shitty mother, like weird stuff. So I, I realized like, I don't think the spiritual community ever wanted me, but then they never really gave me a chance to not be a part of them. I don't think the spiritual community ever wanted me, but then they never really gave me a chance to not be a part of them. I had a little like tiff with another uh, tarot reader um, who said she didn't never heard of me, which was a fucking lie. But she said, um, well, this is really nice for people who are in the spiritual community. And I like to learn, I was like, I'm not in the spiritual community. Why do people keep saying that? I thought I was like taking crazy pills because she just kept saying I was. And I was like, I don't, I just don't get it because I love something, I'm already a part of a community. And it's weird how the community and the influence is stronger than the creator and the channel that the person has made. I've never been accepted into like the spiritual community. They've never accepted me. They don't like me. They, I used to have like videos made about me all the time back when I was relevant. I'm not self-deprecating. People like to tell me when I used to be relevant a lot. And they also like to tell me they've never heard of me a lot. I get it. I'm nobody. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. I'm somebody. I already went through this shit. I just know that I have to make different videos if I want to get out of the spiritual community. I don't want to lose myself. So here's what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to change my channel around and I'm really excited about it. I'm not going to delete a lot of my videos. I'm not insane. <laughs> those, those videos are really good. They're like my life's work, but there are certain ideas that I feel like I, I have a better clarity on now. So I might take some things down if I rebuild something new, but I want to talk about a lot of different things. And one of the big things I've loved to do the last year that I couldn't really put on my channel was my podcast. I can love my podcast because I love to talk about film and I like to relate that to spiritual things. And I like the fact that, you know, to be honest, spirituality is like the physical world, like as above, so below it's all, it's all existing here. Life imitates art, art imitates light. I want to talk to you about things like that. I want to talk to you about stuff that I've gone through. I want it to be interesting. I want to build videos for you that aren't just telling you about transits. I care about transits. I might bring those up every once in a while, but I don't want to be somebody that you go to for your horoscope. I still am going to give astrology readings and you guys sometimes ask me about my astrology readings. It's always in my, if I'm doing astrology readings, it's on my website. The link is always in my information section. Just go to that. That's where you find out if I'm doing readings. If I'm doing readings, it will be on my website. If I'm not, it won't be there. Um, I've been doing them. It's been really fun. I love to talk to people and I love astrology. I love astrology and it's my job and it brings me my money that I can then put back into this channel and put back into making cool things. Something I really love to do and watch, I love to watch video essays 
And I want to put my podcast that I've already recorded into video essays so that you can watch what I'm saying because I always had that vision in my head. When Saturn was in Capricorn and I was thinking about going back to this channel, I was like, I would love to make video essays. I, I love that I like to see all the stuff happening, you know, and my face pops up every once in a while and I talk about something and then you hear my voice and you see these like videos. And... You know, that's, that's what a video essay is. I fucking love that. It's like, that's the stuff that I watch. I love commentary on that stuff. I love breaking things down and building them back up. I want to do that. That's what I want my channel to be about. I don't want it to be in pick a cards because even pick a cards, they don't do that well on my channel. Everyone says that pick a cards just blow up. Not for my channel and I'm fucking good at them. Just kidding. I don't, I don't think my heart's there, right? I don't think my heart's in transits. Like I get it. After January, you know, there's this little thing on um, YouTube where it says like, you <laughs> the rank of your videos right like uh like a top 10 of your top 10 latest viewed videos so you can see if they're doing well well every time i made a video it was like the ninth one of the last top 10 like my videos were doing pretty good last year when i came back and then they just started to die no one was fucking watching them nobody cared and i thought that was very fascinating after it was a little bit like depressing you know i i want to care again you know and I get that sometimes when you do that, like you switch your channel over, you like, you know, people leave you. People leave me all the time. You guys, you know how like often I say something and just offend somebody and then I lose thousands of subscribers and stuff. And I've understood that you guys, some of you guys really like to be here with me and some of you guys just, you know, you're just passing through and that's really cool. I just want my channel and my, my brand and who I am. The Divine Venus is still going to stay. I want the Divine Venus and Alyssa Trahan, like me. I'm not Alyssa Trahan because I can't use my name because I'm legally obligated not to put that out there, fuckers. I just, I just want to push through with my own shit. I want to do my own thing. I want to, I want to rework my channel because I don't want anybody to ever say I'm a part of a community. I fucking hate communities. I want to make my own thing. I want to be solo. I've wanted to do it for so long. I just didn't know how to execute it and now I do. Hey guys, I'm editing right now. My face is like really puffy. I don't I don't know what it is. Okay, I realize I kind of left a big thing out and I wanted to give this to you. This is my little aha moment. During the solar eclipse, I got into a feud with Natalia Taylor. She's a YouTuber um, and we kind of talked behind the scenes and I want you to know straight up, she's very cool. She's very smart. She's wise. she's funny. She's the real deal. And so, you know, nothing's bad between me and her. I ended up reading her chart. And before I read her chart, I had this little moment where I realized that everything kind of came, came full circle the same way that I left my church and I went out into the real world. It hit me that I don't belong in established religions and if this spiritual community has become an established religion i don't like it there they don't like me there you know it's a never-ending story we're gonna figure out what we have to figure out over and over and over again until we get it it didn't matter that you know my first video i say the f word in the first minute of it i'm gonna generalize a lot so if you don't like generalizing just go fuck yourself but if you do like that's cool, we can be friends. <laughs> That's what my life's about. But you're gonna see in this clip, this is exactly the clip from her. I asked her if I could use it. I mean, it's mine anyway, but I wanted you guys to see it as well so you could see where I'm coming from up front and then you can watch the rest of the video. I'm just trying to tell you, like, that's what I felt. I was like, fuck, Natalia Taylor is better than a lot of people I've met. And in the spiritual community that I'm a part of, you're, I feel like more a part of just the YouTube community as a whole. You don't have to put any of this shit on your channel that I'm saying to you. This is like really directly for you. So I just wanted you to know, like before, like I even read your chart that like you, you're better. And it reminds me of something. And it's this little anecdote for my life. It's like, I grew up in church and I got kicked out for something that happened to me. And I started working at a restaurant with a lot of like drunk people who smoked a lot and did drugs and all that shit. And I was very impressed. It was like the first time ever that like my eyes were open that there's like a better world outside of like my, my religious community, that there are people who are kinder, less judgmental, nicer, and more understanding of like what we all go through as like as people. And so in this sense, it felt very similar, like very Mercury retrograde, solar eclipse, throwback shit, but it's clear. I'm excited. My channel died for a reason. So I would see it in front of me and be like, that's why. Because I'm not meant to be here. The universe works in mysterious ways. I'm not meant to be making you 
transit videos anymore. Like I'm not meant to help you in that way. I want to help you on a deeper level. And I believe my podcast helps on a deeper level. Like I really like making my podcast. I do. And also I switched this. My landlord just called me because he's a dick and I'm filming on my phone. On my phone. I have a really good camera and like mic and everything and I want to use that. Um, I started to record something on it and then um, I lost my battery charger and I was like, holy shit, like, why is this not working? And I was like, nothing's working until it's right. Thousand dollar dust collector. Ah, fuck. My channel died, but I shall live. And so I will be back. And when I come back, the videos are going to be different. And now you know. Okay, bye.